And uh, I think he let Gabriel win. Whichever of us won, we had to beat Gabriel. And I think that sealed the fate of Gabriel winning. We're in the middle of a conversation, man. First day of exchange was insane. I got a really good one. I was really stoked. And it was like one when you kick out and you feel like it was really good. And then I saw his wave. And it was funny though, I wasn't even like super bummed. Cause I knew I got a good wave too, but it was just like, it was just kind of sick. Like for there to be like just constant waves like that. It pretty much just kept it so we were like, same, yeah, know? I paddle back out. I'll go, were we splitting hairs when the scores come in? What's gonna happen here? And he's like, yeah, I think so. I don't know. It was different. Like I did a rail grab and I kind of, I kind of like bottom turn stalled up high. Yeah. And whereas you went no hand and slowed into it. There were different rides and different waves. That's where in surfing it's like, it's impossible to not know. They hear the score read out. So they know that, okay, it's, I'm either gonna give it or not give it when it comes yeah. that close, you know? Giant Stop contest. peeing over there. It was pretty cool being tied. So we went on a count back of 0.1. <laughs> yeah, we tied with 19.77. I wish that was the final. It's easy for me to say because I won the heat, but I think in a few years you'll probably be like, that was cool, we tied. Oh, best barrel rider in the world. So, I mean, of course, that's the heat you want to win on earth, you know? That's the, that's the, that's the pinnacle of pro surfing for me, is to have a heat against this guy in big barrels. It's better to be lucky than good. Bye, Dad.